Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back here in Kansas at my folks place and I'm gonna get my back checked out while I'm here. I'm starting to do a lot of yoga and a few physical therapy exercises and things are going a lot better. So I'm pleased about that. Uh, but I do have some changes that I wanna to make to my truck. The uh, slide out extension, it's got a few things that I think could be improved upon. And so I wanna go ahead and cover that in this video and show you what I'm thinking about going forward. And I've got some new ideas for some additional shelving that's kind of like the above head shelving that's, or overhead shelving that's that's in that topper. So why don't we go over to the truck here and I'll show you what I wanna to do to the outside of it real quick with the slide out extension. And then we'll, we'll dive into the inside and kind of uh, go over a few, a few of the changes that I'm gonna make. So let's head on over to the truck. Okay, so here we are at the truck. Uh, the slide out's working great, so I'm not gonna make any changes to the actual sliding portion of it. But I do feel as though the, the back door here is a bit small. Um, it's, it's a little bit tight to get in. I think that it would be easier if you were to make the door possibly maybe six inches wider, like come out over to here and then come down and still leave some a good structural support here. If you, if you see on the inside, uh, I've got a two by four. Actually, you can't see it. I got covered it up, I guess. Uh, but there's a two by four behind here and I don't think I want to cut into that. I think I would cut right to where the four inches is on there. So we'd leave about maybe six to eight inches that you could improve the door, uh, the, the size of the door and make it larger. And I would do that on both sides. And that way, you know, you could get in and out easier and then you could also uh, load gear and take gear out of it on a, on a simpler, you know, not so confined basis. Another thing I would do is I would switch this around. I put this here and put this strap here now, or this uh, clamp here. Now, one thing I, I, I never admitted was the first night that I got back out of my truck and I was in Colorado, I was so stoked to get in here and I got it all set up and it was snowing outside and everything. And I got inside and I didn't realize that this thing here, if you push it up like this, it, it can easily come down and, and go over it. If you push it all the way back, it actually won't come, but there's like a some sort of, I don't know if it's a, clip or, or something or, or, or however that works in there if it's like a lock but it stays in place but I didn't have it in place so I got in I like shut the door and I think I may have hit it or something like that and this came down and I was locked inside my topper so what I did was I had to kick out in order to um, make it to where those screws <clears throat> uh, you know came out which was actually pretty easy to do I did that by design so if I ever got trapped inside there if somebody locked me in you can kick on this portion right here and it popped this out and then I just just reattached it so I'd switch that. I put, like I said, put this up here and take this and put it down there. That way the, the flap is always in the bottom. And then if you wanted to close it, you know, you just push it over like that. Now, a lot of people have asked like, oh, somebody's gonna come along and, you know, lock you in there. No, no they're not. Because what you can do is you can take this and lock it into place. Therefore, no one's gonna do it, okay? Now, if somebody comes up and puts like wire around here and locks you in here, well, I mean, chances of that happen, I think, are pretty much almost, almost zero. But I mean, you know, it could happen. But people could lock in anything. Hell, they could lock you in a in an RV camp, or somebody could come and wrap the whole thing in cellophane and try to lock me in. So I, I think that's kind of a moot point. Um, but those are the changes that I would make for the outside here. And then I, I think also too on the top. Let's go ahead and slide this out. I want to show you a change I make to the top. Oops, trying to do this with one hand. Look at that. One hand and no problem. On the top here, I would do a little bit more of a slope because you've got. Um, if you look back here, it's like probably about an inch or so. So I would have it to where that actually slopes down a little bit and maybe, you know, take this down a, a, an inch and then pop this up like a half inch. That way it creates that slope. Because what I found is if I'm on a very level surface and it's raining out, you know, if I put this down and I have the weather seal that goes in there, the air conditioner weather seal that I use, you still get water that drips from this area right here. It'll pool right here and then it will eventually get to the point where it's enough and it'll spill over and go right there. And then if you have a level surface, what it's gonna do is it's just gonna kinda of pull on this area. So you gotta make sure that this is 100% waterproof, which mine wasn't. Uh, I got kinda of lazy right towards the end when I was building this. And I just put tape over the seams for um, the vinyl, aluminized vinyl coating that I have here. And as a result of it, this area over here, which I, I finally filled in with DAP and you know, with that silicone sealant, this area was actually leaking just a tad bit. And I noticed on the inside that I have water damage. So there was some water damage. Let's see if I can turn the light here. Oops. There's some water damage down in there. And I'm gonna take off this, this back panel here. 
One reason why I use screws to put the paneling on with the insulation bed is so I could take it off in the event that I needed to. So I'm gonna have to take this off and dry that out and kind of see what's going on back behind there because you certainly don't want mold inside your topper in such a small space. So um, that's what I would do to the exterior of it in that, you know, the interior portion of that, that door. And then why don't we hop inside and I'll show you what I'm thinking about with the overhead uh, shelves because there's some additional ones I think we could put in here. All right, so we're inside the topper, and I wanted to show real quick how I use this four-inch foam weather seal, and I squish it down and I put it into a little gap here that's created. You know that little gap? It's like maybe about an inch and a half, two inches. So I'll put this in here, and this has worked phenomenally well. It's 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 a great barrier from weather. Um, there's no dust that comes in with it with it, which is which is great. Uh, keeps the the wind out, and then also keeps the bugs out, which that's huge because as soon as you turn lights on in, in these toppers, you know, or anytime you're camping, and especially if you're close to water, the bugs are just gonna come in in droves. Um, another thing too, just a, a side note, when you have your windows here from your topper, if you have these sliding windows, keep in mind there's always a gap right here if you pull it all the way back. And so if you take the, the window, push it up to where the seal becomes flush with the bug netting, then you won't have bugs that come in your topper. So that's that's just a little side note there. <clears throat> but what I'm thinking for overhead shelving is I've, I've really enjoyed using these shelves. I mean, it's, it's great to have my clothing and any sort of other items that I want to put up out of the way. Um, and that way they're not on the ground of my um, topper. And it just makes easier setup and breakdown so I don't have to move items around. But I think I could put more shelves in here too. I've, I definitely want to put some shelving back here. Maybe I have a shelf that comes down like this or it comes at an angle so I can still open this back window because I have the option for this thing to slide down. So I'm gonna take this off real quick. All right, cool, there we go. And then you could attach it, you know, you can always use these screws to attach um, any sort of shelving that you want. You could have some shelves that come out from here if you'd like, but I wouldn't recommend that because I do, I do like sit back up against here and that would hit your head. <coughs> Excuse me. But what, what, would, what, what I think would be beneficial is to have a shelving item up here because or, or, or a shelf up here not a shelving item just just a shelf because you could take these screws just like I did with the screws that are in the the window jam over here and I'll, I'll take you can take these screws out and put some sort of bracket that comes up like here and then you can bend it to where it comes out flat and then you could have a whole shelving unit pretty much the entire back of your topper here now if you've got a roof rack you know you can utilize these these screw ends and these things just pop off so you can just take this and pop it straight off actually no I'm sorry it doesn't pop off it screws off and then um, use that to secure you could have like a you know one of these that comes down from here and then it goes across to here then you could have a shelf the entire way across to the other side and do the same thing over here you know you have it come out from this side and attached to here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that I don't this is this is kind of dead space up here I don't use it for anything in particular it's big enough to where if I take like my hiking poles, you know, I can put them up here. And it'd be great to have those up out of the way. And that way I can build shelves on the side because I definitely want to put a little bit more shelving into uh, the topper here. And what I'm thinking is, is that I use these shelves a bunch, but it's kind of annoying when I have just loose items, you know, that are, that are laying out here. Because when I'll drive, I'll get back in my truck and set up the, the topper here. And, uh, and then I'll have to like situate all these items and move them around. I also want to finish up insulating the cubby holes that are on both sides. I've got one here and then one over on this side, which I actually store the motion sensor light that I have from my BioLite Solar Home 620. And then I'm going to figure out a different place to put that because I was putting the command module right here with the battery bank. But Sierra sleeps right here, and sometimes if I want to have the stereo going at night, if I'm listening to the news, I just think it, you know, it keeps her up, and I, I don't want it to, to bother her. Uh, lastly, the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mosquito note out here. I'm going to um, waterproof and weatherproof the cubby holes on both sides. I've got a small one there, and then a, a much larger one over on this side. And I think if I were able to weatherproof those, and then make these additional shelves on both sides. I, I want to have a shelf that comes out from here and then comes down and then has a weather seal that goes all the way around this section where the topper lays on the truck because there's definitely some air that comes in here in the winter time. Just kind of button all that up and then I think I'll pretty much be dustproof and weatherproof 
for all four season camping because I, I can four season camp in here, but it does get a little cold. And then, uh, like I said, I, I do have to take that panel off right there and see if there's any water damage on the underside uh, behind the insulation that I have in there. It's just this cotton insulation that I have. It's real lightweight and it's actually really good insulation. So I can easily just take that out. If there is water, I can just toss it and put some more insulation in there. I'll be good. So those are the changes that I'm planning on making to my topper. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send this out to everybody who purchased the topper plan designs. Uh, that way they know some of the improvements that I would recommend making and it will help to improve the comfort and just the functionality of, of truck camping. So uh, if y'all got any questions, just hit me up in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.